Hello. In this series of videos, I'd like to discuss our preferred PDF application. It's called PDF Exchange Editor Pro. And in this video, I'll be going over editing documents and adding items into documents. So firstly, I'll go ahead and open up the application. And then I want to open up an existing PDF to work with. So I'll go to File, I'm already in Open, go over to Browse, and I'll select the document that I want to manipulate. So I'll click Open there. And the way that it brings it up, sometimes it's a little big, so if you hold down uh, your Control key and then scroll down on the uh, mouse or hit Control minus or plus, you can uh, zoom in and out. But for this video, we'll stay pretty zoomed in. All right. So the layout of PDF Exchange is a lot like uh, any of your Office 365 applications where you have your uh, tabs menus at the top. So each uh, tab has different uh, functions. For editing, the home, uh, the home tab is where you have most of the editing features. So you can kind of play around with different options there. But if I were to want to edit text, as long as the document is in a scanned document, you can edit most text in PDFs. If you uh, come over here to the uh, Objects area, there's the Edit button that'll allow you to edit uh, text, images, and shapes. So if I select Text, you'll see a little uh, outline for the text that you can edit. So if I double click in here, I can uh, add some stuff. If I click in here, I can remove some stuff. And then if I were wanting to maybe create uh, some new text, I can uh, copy some of this text. So I copy the uh, same style of it. And then I can go Add Text. Let's drop a box there and then paste that. And then I can just type whatever I need as it'll keep the uh, formatting for it. And then once you've uh, created the text, you can click on Select Text to kind of edit it further, or you can do edit text if you need to move it around. You have to kind of grab it, and put it where you need it. You can also right click here and then select properties. And there's a couple of different items that'll come up for things you can manipulate. Like maybe you want to change the uh, size there. Uh, maybe you want it bold, or there's a whole lot of different options for stuff that you can change. Um, but as you can see, make sure you <laughs> highlight the whole item there when you're changing so it doesn't just change uh, part of it. So I'll leave that alone. Um, you can also edit images. So if I click Edit Image, close out of there, uh, I can click on this guy here and I can move him around if I want, maybe make him a little smaller, or I can just uh, delete him altogether. If I did that by accident, you can always do the uh, Control Z to bring that guy back. Or maybe I want to add an image to the app to the uh, PDF. You can also do Add, Add an Image, and you'll get this message. You can do the Do Not Show again if you don't want to be reminded. But basically, you can uh, draw where you want the image. So if I want it right there, and then I have to select the image. So I have picture that I can add there. And it's going to give you two options. Either you can add it in as a stamp or as a content item. As a stamp, you can move this item with the uh, hand tool. As a content item, you'll have to do the edit content. I usually do this as a content item. So I'll place, and then I can edit images, grab that guy, move him around, make him bigger if I need or delete him altogether. Well, those are the basics for how to add and edit uh, different items into existing PDFs. If you have any questions or need assistance on this, you can give us a call at 210-798-0889, option 1. You can send an email to service at getsecuretech.com, or you can send us a text message to 830-742-0770. Thank you.